Hello YouTube, I had a request for this video. Uh, I had a subscriber ask me, he's, he's a new, he's just getting into the industry. He's a new tech and he wanted to know uh, what ratchets he needed to get started and how many. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, everybody's going to have their own opinion, what they, how many they think you need and what you need. This is just my opinion. Uh, your opinion may vary. I respect everybody else's opinions. We all have our own opinion, but let's get started. Here's what I think, all right? And I've been working on, I've never been a professional. I consider myself a semi-professional, but I've done engine work. I've done uh, uh, transmission work. I've done, I've done rear end work. I, you name it. I've built UTVs, uh, cars, trucks, you name it, snowmobiles, four-wheelers, three-wheelers. I've had it all. Okay, starting on the left here. Now, strictly my opinion, guys. I believe you need a roto head. This is quarter inch drive. We're starting with the quarter inch drives first. I think there's 11 ratchets here. This is the bare minimum. I think you need to get started. If you haven't got one of these little Titans, the little roto heads, 90 tooth, these are sweet. Use it as a spinner. You want to start spinning one in. And what's good about this, this is actually a hex driver, but that's good because it can do double duty. You can, you can put the hex bits in it, or you can make it a quarter inch drive. That's why I picked this one. You put the adapter in there, and now you got quarter inch drive. That's a sweet little ratchet. Uh, I'd rec you're first starting out, I recommend you should have one of those. The little micro uh, spinner, the little micro uh, roto head, definitely. And quarter inch drive, I only got four for quarter inch drive, bare minimum. I got a little blue point here. Uh, it's not a bad ratchet, guys. This one's 72 tooth. It's a sweet little ratchet. I've used this. It's made by Blue Point. Regular length. It's probably, oh, I don't know, five inches long. You got to have one of them. Uh, you need a flex head. The flex head is so, so versatile, guys. You get in those uh, nicks and crannies and all those tough spots. You definitely got to have at least a few of these when you're starting out. If you don't, you'll be sorry. Um, this one's made by Gear Wrench. It's the 120 XP, which you guys are familiar with. Non locking. I prefer the locking, but this is a non locking version. Whether you get comfort grips or regular grips, that's just preference. Um, they both have their good and bad about them. You know, if they're if non comfort, just chrome. They're cold in the winter. They tend to sweat if the garage isn't heated. You know, they can get pit, pitted the rust a little bit. Whereas the comfort grips, they don't like the oil and grease. They tend to wear out faster. They don't hold up in a tough environment as well. It's, it just comes with a choice on that. You need at least one long quarter-inch drive ratchet. This one's, not, this one's not, not a flex. It's made by Vim. This one's 90 tooth. That's a nice little ratchet. I love this ratchet. I love the handle. It's almost like a screwdriver handle, you know, but it's not uh, all, it's, it's got the po a hard polymer and a soft rubber. That's one of my favorite, favorite ratchets. It just feels good in my hand. You need a long quarter inch drive. So that's four for the quarter inch drive. The bare bones here, guys. Strictly my opinion, yours may vary. Three inch drive, we got the Koken. Koken is in the house. Take a gander. And you look at this. And this is only a $55 ratchet, guys. Lowest back drag in the industry, bar none. Beautiful little ratchet. It's on the small side for 3H drive, but you need one like that. It's got the comfort grip, but this is kind of a hard plastic on that one, but that's a nice ratchet. Another roll head. This is 3H drive. Definitely a plus to have in your uh, arsenal, guys. You're first starting out, you got to have a couple of these. That's a 90 tooth. Made by Olsa. This one's not made in USA. This one I think was, uh, I can't remember where this one was made. <laughs> they're, all, they're all made in different spots. But anyways, I know it ain't Taiwan. It's another country. I, I can't think of it offhand, but you need one of these. Roto head, 3H drive. And another flex head. Now we're in. Now this is 3H drive. Now this one's made by Gear Wrench, the 120 XP. 
What's nice about this one, it's got the locking head. You can see it there. You can lock in different positions. This is one of my favorite ratchets, guys. I love this ratchet. Good looking. It's got the small head. You'll be happy you picked that one up. Um, it's not a bad. It's not a, not bad for how much it costs either. It's, it's up there a little bit, but that's a lot of ratchet. You need one of them. It'll probably be one of the ratchets you grab the most right there when you're going on 3H drive. It's just so versatile. And you gotta have at least one long one, you know, for reach or leverage, you know, all the above, right? 72 tooth. That was made by Easy Red. You gotta have one of them. Okay, now we're gonna get the half inch drive. Half inch drive is usually you know you pull the half inch drive. You usually you got some uh, obviously bigger bolts, bigger fasteners, and uh, you need some torque. But this is a regular length one I use, made by Capri. 90 tooth. Like I said, I had a request for this. Somebody said, what do I need? How many do I need? Because I have 100 ratchets or close to it. Do I need 100? No, you don't need 100. Most of my life, I only had 30. Regular length, half-inch drive. I'd say you got to have one of those. Then I'd have one that's in between. This is a Williams. This is a tank that's 15 inches long. Get a little more leverage with that, reach. That one's 36, dry, uh, 36 tooth. As you can see, uh, you got to have one of them. And this is probably one of my favorites. This big bad boy here is 26 inches long. It's made by Genesis. It's got the hard plastic handle. I love these handles. Flex head. I think that one's 72 tooth. I, to, I could be wrong, guys. I can't remember. That's a bear. Good for uh, leverage, reach. Um, you bring that out, you mean business. You got to have one of them. And the only other thing I would have that I don't have is a breaker bar. You need a, I got breaker bars, but I don't have it out here. You would need a breaker bar. That's that's the bare bones, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave your opinion. I always get back to you guys. Um, I enjoy the feedback. Channel's doing good. Um, all because of you guys. Uh, let me know what you use, what you think, and uh, for a new tech, how many you think you need, and how many can you get away with? I always say this is bare bones. If you're doing this professionally, every day, that's probably the bare bones. Let me know what you guys think, guys. I'm curious. Okay, take care.